Nearly two years after a developer bought an empty office building in downtown Scranton, it's finally coming back to life. After months of construction, the former Samters building has now been turned into apartments. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Dable is live in downtown Scranton with a look inside for us. Eric? Candace, good evening. The first tenants have just move in, moved in here to the former Samters building at the intersection of Lackawanna and Penn Avenues. Now, while construction is still wrapping up on the second floor, everybody should be moved in by the middle of next month. What was once a clothing store in downtown Scranton now has a new purpose. The century-old Samters building has been transformed into a total of 24 new apartments. All but two of them have already been rented out. It's amazing just to see the project from start to finish. Um, there's so much work has gone into it and so many people have been here and um, especially for the tenants that have signed on, you know, without seeing the units. The five story building is a piece of the downtown's history. After the clothing store closed, it became government offices, but even those shut down. After sitting empty for years, developer Charles Jefferson saw potential in it. Many locals say the fact that it filled up so quickly with just a design means something. It brings a lot of people in. It's a beautiful area. What does it say? It says that Scranton's on its way to be in the kind of city it's always been before. While a few residents are empty nesters who no longer want to own their own homes, property managers say the overwhelming majority of tenants are young professionals that work in the city or just outside of it and want to live where the action is. The rent here begins at $875 a month, but goes up based on square footage. What sticks out about this building is the amount of windows it has. It's really awesome down here. Great views, tons of light in every apartment here, so it's really a great location. Now, the developer who is doing this project also recently renovated the old Connell building as well as the Mulberry Towers building across from Scranton City Hall. Those, both of those projects and buildings are still full in terms of renters with a total of 128 apartments. We're live tonight in downtown Scranton. Eric Dable, Eyewitness News. Looks good. Eric, thank you. And the first floor of the Samters building is expected to be retail space. Owners are still working to find a tenant to fill that area.